Hi YouTubers, it's Smokey C, uh, this is again for today, it's in the garage again, we're doing a cigar review right now, this is actually going to be my last cigar review for quite a while, or for a little bit, so I want to review this cigar right now, this is going to be the Arturo Fuente Casa Cuba Florfinia uh, Robusto 5x50, this is about this long, very nice little ass cigar, little little cigar, not, not little, but a Robusto size, pretty standard size, so let's do it right now. Okay, a little bit of background on this cigar. My tobacconist gave me this cigar as a free sample, and this is actually, a, he said, now I looked up this on the internet, I kind of did some research, this is supposedly a pre-release a pre cigar, so I'm not sure if it really is, but I was looking up on the internet and it said it already had been released in 2013, but according to him, this cigar in particular is a pre-release cigar. Anyway, the first third is wood, pepper, uh, cedar, tobacco. So, you first light up, you get a very loose draw, and I mean very loose, so you do have to watch it. Uh, wood, pepper, cedar, tobacco. <laughs> so, that's the basic flavors. I'd say it's medium-bodied, medium-to-medium full-bodied. Definitely nice, very loose draw, very easy to smoke. Um, mainly just wood. You get a lot of wood flavors. If you're a fan of wood, and no, that doesn't mean I've actually licked wood. Don't be a smart ass. That actually means that uh, I can equate the smell of wood to the taste of wood. So, uh, wood, pepper, cedar, tobacco. The second third was mild wood cedar. Second third, same basic flavors. This is not a very long-lasting cigar because it's such a small cigar. Hashtag little-ass cigar. Um, same basic flavors. The strength or the body goes down quite a bit. Um, so, you do get the same basic flavors. It's more milder compared to the first light where it's very strong. Wood, cedar, tobacco, pretty nice. Pepper. The last third was the same basic flavors, and really that's about it. So, the strength was medium, so mild to medium, medium strength. Not very strong in terms of nicotine, but very nice. Uh, the retrohaling notes were wood. So, one thing about the cigar I can say is one flavor. Wood. Wood, cedar, tobacco, a little bit of a hay. Very, very nice. Very woodsy. Yeah, that's a word, so... <clears throat> uh, aroma was nice smell, a uh, typical cigar smell. The burn was fantastic, um, or decent. I see the burn was good. I didn't have to, to touch it up, but um, the burn was good. A little bit wonky, but I attribute that more to dry humidity because this has been sitting in my wine door for probably almost two weeks now, so it really should burn well, especially a 5 by 50 but unfortunately this burned a little wonky, but nothing that you have to be worried about. You don't have to be worried about it burning wonky unless it burns too wonky. So it lasts for 50 minutes, so 50 minutes on 15 minutes. Uh, almost an hour, not bad, that's pretty average. Most Robustas, especially Naturals and Connecticut's, tend to burn around an hour, uh, or a little under an hour, so that's not pretty nice, 5 by 50 Anyway, or it's a 5x50 cigar. I mean, in my experience, most 5x50 cigars tend to last about 45-50 minutes. That's what I was trying to say. So, uh, overall good cigar. Um, wood, pepper, cedar, tobacco. Uh, pretty medium-bodied cigar. Overall, very plain, very straightforward, medium-bodied, woodsy cigar. If you're a fan of woodsy flavors... I am more of a fan of the, I'd say, the creamy or dessert-like, like chocolate, espresso, and uh, coffee-like flavors. But if you're a fan of just, like, you know, plain, woodsy cigars, and you're not a fan of Connecticut because they're too mild, definitely good little-ass cigar. Hashtag little-ass cigar. 8 out of 10 for rating, very, very nice cigar. Um, would I buy it again? Definitely. Uh, I would say I definitely would buy it again because... It was a very nice cigar. I'd probably look for the Churchill size, because those tend to burn a little bit longer. I like, in general, a longer burn time. So, anyway, like those big-ass cigars. Um, overall, a for rating. Uh, price point in these, I did a little bit of research online, like I said. These are about $10 a piece, so a $10 a stick. So, depending where you live, you're going to pay between $8, 9 $10, all the way up to $12, $13, $14. $13. So, not a bad cigar. Um, very good cigar, a for rating. Artur, this has been the Arturo Fuente Casa Cuba Florfinia Robusto 5x50. Anyway, comment, like the video, share the video, rate, subscribe, and bye.